My quick tip is about Kindle, the Kindle app. Last week's or a couple weeks, whenever it was, we did a show about working offline and we mentioned Kindle, but not enough. Kindle is my favorite offline app because if you buy and download a Kindle book on your phone, then you can read it anytime. But there's both buying and there's downloading. So my tip today is how the Android version is a little bit different from the iPhone version. And I just want you to know about it. You cannot buy new books with the iOS app. You can't see on the Android side, that's on the left, there's a store in the Kindle app. And on the iOS one, there is not. You can discover new books, but you can't buy them. So what do you do? To buy Kindle book on iOS, you know, you can't. <laughs> but <laughs> if you buy it somewhere else, just open a web browser and go to amazon.com, log in with your account, buy the book there. It will appear for downloading in the app. And I wanted to show that on an Android phone. Kindle app, I'm gonna go to my all apps here. And first, it's not in the K's where you would expect it. It's in the A's for Amazon Kindle. So I go here and let's say I'm looking for a new book to read. Our good friend, Nick Russell, writes a bunch of books. I can search for Nick Russell and it's these John Lee Quarles. Look at that, four books he's written. So I want to get the first in his series. Here is book one, John Lee Quarles book one, and I can buy now for $3.99. Such a deal. Buy now with one flick. I like supporting authors, so it doesn't bother me at all to pay the full retail. So I have bought it, but I haven't downloaded it to this device. If I tap read now, it would download to this device. Okay, but I'm not going to take the time to do that. I want to show you now on the iPhone or iPad, but I actually prefer using the iPhone because it's so small to hold in my hand, you know, when I wake up in the middle of the night and I want to read my book. And where is the, I have it in my Amazon group here, there's Kindle. And what you will see is there is no store down here. But look at that. The book that I purchased on the other device is showing up now in here. And if I tap it, it will start downloading so I can read it on this device. So that's my, that's my tip. I remember I was quite distressed the first time I tried to use the Kindle app on my iPhone and I couldn't buy a new book. <laughs> it took me a while to figure out, okay, I had to go to amazon.com and buy it and then I could read it on my iPhone hmm. Kindle app.